Hey, Ryan Phillips here. Welcome to this demo video where I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily create an interactive video with our new Interactor Evolution software that can double conversion, triple engagement, and get up to a 14 times higher click through rate on your calls to action. When you get inside of the Interactor Evolution software, you'll see the project library. Of course, you know, you're not going to have as many interactive video projects as I do. So we're just going to click on create new project. Now, if you picked up the pro version, you'll have these different templates. For now, we're going to click on create a blank project and we're going to give this project a name. We're going to click on create and it takes us to the project canvas. This is where we can upload our new video clips to the media library so we can then create an interactive video. Now, for the sake of time, I'm gonna open up a project that I made earlier because it already has the video clips inside the media library. This video is actually for a local business, for a coffee shop. First, I'm gonna drag these video clips onto the canvas. You can start to see how the canvas is the 30,000 foot view of the interactive project but you know nothing's interactive just yet so how do we do that well we double click on a video clip to take us into the timeline editor we have our uh, elements on the left our interactive elements on the left and our preview on the right now we're going to go over these interactive elements in a second but first i want to draw your attention to our animated interaction layer builder we're now the very first interactive video platform in the world to allow you to customize your interaction layers inside of the app we can create a blank interaction layer you know start from scratch or we can use one of our preset templates now with our preset templates these are beautifully animated and fully customizable so you can change them to your specific project. Okay, let's have a look at the other two templates right here. I'm gonna select the center one, man or woman. So you can see they look very professional. You know, we can delete or change the images, the text, the colors, all of that stuff. And the third template is the top menu. Of course, you can completely create uh, a customizable one from scratch any way that you want. Now I'm gonna use this coffee shop template for this example, okay? Now, what can I do? Well, the first thing, before I show you how to customize this, we need to make it interactive. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the interactive elements. Now in the settings, on click, I want this to play a node and I want that to be the Americano one, okay? Same if they click the text. We want to make sure it plays the Americano video. Now, if we go back to the canvas, we'll see that it's created that interactive element. Okay, so we have our first branch. Let's do this real quick for cappuccino, latte, espresso, uh, and then we'll have our interactive project. I can show you how to customize this. So the cappuccino, we're going to do the same thing on click. We don't want it to open a pop-up, skip to a time in the video, open a URL. We just want it to play the cappuccino video. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Exactly the same for latte. We want it to play a node. That is the latte video. And last but not least for espresso, we want it to do exactly the same thing. So now our video, if we go back to the canvas, is 100% interactive, okay, as you can see. So let me show you how to customize this. We'll go back into our interaction layer. So let's say that we, we was not making this video for a coffee shop. It was for, you know, a different business. We can delete these images that are on here and we can just add new ones. Okay, nice and simple, nice and easy. We could also change the text. Maybe this wants to say option one. 
and the headline would would say you know my question goes here okay dead simple dead easy you know we could we can move these around change it however we want if we preview this animation again you know we can see it changes in real time very powerful and it's the very first time ever in the history of interactive video software across the world that this is actually possible okay now as you saw there were other types of interactive elements that we can add now the other types of interactive elements are hotspots hotspots are basically invisible buttons okay so let's uh, on this hotspot let's go through the wizard we're going to click on next we don't want the video to pause when it's shown and when the hotspots clicked maybe we want um you know a pop-up to open okay so then we can just drag our hotspot over the space and then select exactly where we want it to happen inside of the video okay nice and simple nice and easy for a button we just again drag this across you know we can skip the wizard or you know we can just go through this what's the button appearance let's create a new button from scratch okay we can change the text we can you know change the size you know, decide what uh, action we want to happen maybe when the button's clicked we want it to uh you know open a url or you know play a, a different video or whatever okay when it's done we can position it on the canvas position the time where we want the uh you know the button to come in and we can customize this button you know we can change the position we can change the color the appearance you know we can make it lighter or darker now whatever we want to do you now we can do it over here okay the next interactive element is text you know pretty simple and self-explanatory i'm going to skip the wizard on this one okay we can just edit the text you know nice and simple dynamic text means we can change people's name or information inside of here so if we was going for you know a local client and the local client was called plain sight coffee you know we, we could say hey then put dynamic text that would say plain sight coffee in there we can add custom html we can add images again just like buttons or we can add pop-ups now a pop-up is a uh you know a full pop-up over the screen so if i choose a template maybe i want an email pop-up that would come up like so and again we can move any of these elements around and customize this if we want to okay so that's all the interactive elements over here now for the sake of this demo video i'm just going to delete these right here and i just want to stress we are the only interactive video platform in the whole world that lets you actually customize these interaction layers okay no other platform on the planet allows you to do this okay very powerful okay when we've done we'll save and publish the changes we can head back over to our canvas and this is where we're ready to actually share our interactive video so we can start getting leads and sales or more engagement on our training and content videos okay we can go over to publishing so we can actually publish this uh, now if we change the video even though this let's say this interactive video is on a website somewhere on the internet but we make changes inside of our app all we have to do is republish this by clicking on uh you know republish uh, on down here save save changes publish changes at the top and it will automatically update wherever this video is on the internet okay we can share this video with other people we have a unique share link if you want to share this with let's say local clients or if you want to share it with you know anyone really okay i'm just going to hit play so we can see what this looks like i purposefully took the music out so it wasn't too distracting on this demo video but as you can see here is the coffee video and the interaction layer is going to come on that we customized 
inside of the interactive video app. Let's have a look exactly what it looks like. Here we go, seamless. Headlines change, you know, we've got the different text here, and if we click on cappuccino. You want a cappuccino. It goes to you the cappuccino it. video. Tell us where to send your special discount coupon. Okay, incredible. We've got our analytics, we've got our different settings over here. Everything that we need to create high converting, high engaging interactive videos is uh, available inside of this app. Now, the last thing that I wanna show you in this demo video is let's say that we, you know, let's delete these uh, different interactive layers. Let's say we don't have time to do this. What we could do is create chapters. That's what this is over here. You know, we've dragged our videos over onto the timeline, onto the canvas. I'm gonna head over to chapters. I'm just gonna tick all of these so we can actually use these as a uh, chapter. I'm gonna publish the changes. Then over here on publishing, we'll see. You know, when I uh, preview this video, there's this little square box over here that I can pop up and shoot to any of my videos, you know, straight away. Okay, so you can actually create interactive videos in less than 10 seconds just by dragging these over onto the canvas and, you know, heading over to chapters. Okay, so with that said, let's recap. Interactor Evolution is the only interactive video software in the world that actually allows you to customize animated interaction layers. You know, you can build these from scratch or you can use the templates that we provide you and you can just customize these templates, okay? Also, the other new features that we have is a brand new PDQ player, the Pretty Damn Quick player. It's a lot lighter and a lot faster than all of our previous versions for lightning fast playback speed. Check out the rest of the information on this page. Click the button and join us inside of Interactor Evolution. Interactive video trumps normal video in every sense for higher conversions, higher click rates, and higher um, viewer satisfaction. Now, whether you're creating sales videos, whether you're creating content videos, interactive video does the job better. This is Ryan Phillips signing out and I'll see you on the next video.